Well, howdy ho there, neighbors. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well on this God-blessed day, and I hope that you're all having um, nice, comfy times, and I hope that you're all in nice, warm beds or in nice, warm chairs or, you know, having just a good day in general. Today, we're going to talk about a few different things, and we're going to get into a cat sermon, which is yay! I love me some cat sermons. And, uh... Today we're going to start with a little short prayer. We're just going to face this way and say a little prayer. Oh, sweet Divine Mother, please turn the desires of our hearts towards you. Make it so that we are always walking towards you and that we always see your love in every moment. Make it so that we see the face of Christ in everyone that passes by. Make it so that we can see the will and steps of Krishna in everyone that comes by us. Let us see with truth and love and perseverance how our lives are part of the great brocade that you have made. Thank you, Makali, for everything you have given us. Please guide us. Guide us so that we may always get closer to you, so that we may be instruments of your will and love, and so that the seeds of hope can sprout in our hearts. Thank you, Mahakali, for everything you have given us. Om Kareem Mahakali Kali Namaha. Excellent. You know, I love Jesus and I love me God. I love <laughs> simple as. This is a weird way to phrase it. But you know, I, I really do uh, love Jesus and recently I've been reading a lot of um, things about Jesus and I've been reading a lot of various different verses from the Bible and it, it it's kind of amazing to me how often certain parts you know sort of escape our notice especially when we are um, all these moments of difficulty in our lives and you know something that often kind of strikes me or something that I noticed and I, I find kind of interesting is that in many ways what I've noticed is that being good and being a good religious person is, it comes down to moments. It comes down from moment to moment, right? It's not just... Uh, it's not like you can just be good all the time. It's like in each moment you have the choice to make to be good and to be loving and to be supportive of others and to try and do your best or in each moment you can you know give in to lesser desires and you can give in to selfishness and it really is in our best interest as well you know so you can still be selfish which is kind of funny uh to do to do good you know it, it just makes everything easier for everybody and it can make it so much more beneficial and it makes your life so much better. We find that so much meaning in our lives does not come from serving ourselves, which is why you see so many people with so much money and power and things like that, and they, and they seem so miserable. But it doesn't come from serving ourselves, it comes from serving others. It comes from serving the will of God and you know, being a beacon of hope and love within the world and trying to spread that love as much as we possibly can. And sometimes even when we don't necessarily feel it, you know, it's like go going towards it and trying to feel it and trying to make it so that we build up our own paths and our own understanding so that we can feel it every day. And, you know, uh, I was reading the Sermon on the Mount and I always really like the attitudes, but I also really like this part, which is the part about loving your enemies. It starts at uh, it's Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 through 48. You've heard, it, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbors and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on evil and the good. And sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? 
are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even the pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly father is perfect. And it's kind of uh, interesting because, you know, that that kind of goes back to an earlier verse here, which is, you know, obviously the Sermon on the Mount, so it's all Matthew chapter 5. But um, this is... This is the Beatitudes, and I'll, I'll share that. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And you know, the verse 7 here. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. You know, love your neighbors. It, it's, it's not just a one... It's not just a one little thing here. It's just, oh, I'm just doing it because I want to be shown mercy. It's because on multiple levels here, yeah, you'll be shown mercy, but you're also being the mercy in a way. You're showing the love and the mercy of God here. And, you know, like, the kingdom of heaven is here. The kingdom of heaven is here within you. Christ is within you. Y you know... So you can show people the kingdom of heaven by merely engaging and being merciful. And that goes back to the whole thing about it's in each moment. Because, you know, in some moments you're going to want to be angry. In some moments people are coming at you and they're just saying all kinds of vile things. But rather than greeting them in anger and matching their anger, you know, that's not how you put out a fire. You know, you don't put out a fire by adding fuel to it. What you do instead is... You know, sometimes you just let the fire burn out. And other times you put a little bit of water on the fire. But here you're letting the fire uh, just kind of burn itself out. Because you're showing uh, love for those who have persecuted you. And showing love to all those around you. For the sake of God. For all is the creation of God. And all is embraced and loved by God. And so to get closer to God and get closer to God's love. What we do is that we try to make it so that we love even our enemies. We love even those people who persecute us and who, you know, stand against us and try to do things to us, right? We show them that we love them despite the things that they do to us. And we love them in spite of all these things. And, you know, this is like this reminds me of this little Maestro at Cart quote, All God wants of men of man is a peaceful heart god is at home it's we who have gone out for a walk so return home to god return home to god within the love of god and you know turn yourself towards god and always you know cry your tears and be one of those who mourns like jesus says but don't mourn for this world and don't mourn because of persecution. Don't mourn because of the little things you want. Mourn because you're not as close to God as you could be and you want to be closer. Or you don't feel that closeness even though God is right there with you. And, you know, mourn because you want that love of God in every moment. And you want every step to echo with the uh, lovely Leela of Krishna. You want every step to echo with the teachings of Christ and you want your very heart to be uplifted and to sing to the Lord in all in all your moments that's what you want you want to see the poetry of God in every raindrop and in every little uh, moment or like when you look out into the stars you can see the sheer the sheer sure <laughs> the sheer glory of God and the love of God in those moments and you know, you want to make it so that you see it all the time and that you're always coming back. And, you know, it's it's always important, you know, Romans 
810 says Christ is in you. Um, but if Christ is in you, this is what it actually says. Uh, but if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is life because of righteousness. You know, and here's another quote from Meister Eckhart. Spirituality is not to be learned by flight from the world or by running away from things or by turning solitary and going apart from the world. Rather, we must learn an inner solitude wherever or with whomsoever we may be. We must learn to penetrate things and find God there. You know, because God is present within every moment and God is here for us in every moment and if we truly embrace that and become a vessel of God's mercy of Makali's wonderful mercy you know then you know we'll never truly be lost and um, it's always good to have that compass to have the compass of God pointing us in the right direction and you know we find ourselves sometimes feeling lost, but what we should always remember is that we are not truly lost because our Good Shepherd, our Lord, you know, Jesus Christ, Krishna, Makali, is always there listening to our prayers and is always willing to turn us in the right direction. If we give up our little uh, negativities and are willing to turn ourselves back towards God and let that a uh, seed of hope sprout then we will have a bountiful harvest of love within ourselves and this is kind of what I wanted to say today so let's we'll end with a little prayer oh God let us be full of your love oh sweet Makali let us be full of your divine wisdom let us always turn in every moment back to you and even when we are negative or mean, let us quickly turn back and remember the truth that you love all of us and you love every being, no matter how much it may seem to confuse us on the surface. We know that within our hearts, you dwell and you dwell with pure love in our heart. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, pain. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for every gift you have given us, and thank you for letting us have this blessed day with this blessed prayer. Thank you, Lord. Om Kareem Akalikai Namaha. Well, that was wonderful. I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful day, and remember that God loves you, and that Ma is within every moment, and that Ma is within you, and within all people that you come across. So remember that, and be sure to spread the love. Okay, bye. Love you, bye. Bye. God loves you, bye.